it's something that um, social psychologists define as um, you know the beliefs and the feelings that we have about social groups that can influence our behavior and influence our decision making even when we're unaware of it. We've done studies where we will have people come into our laboratory and uh, we'll have them sit in front of a computer screen and then they see flashes of light on that computer screen and those flashes are actually the faces of young men that they're being exposed to at such a rapid rate that they can't consciously detect um, the, 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 that exposure. And so we use what's called a subliminal priming procedure to expose them to these faces beneath their awareness. And so either uh, they're exposed to a whole series of black male faces or to a whole series of white male faces. And then we have them do a supposedly separate task um, that is um, about um, recognizing objects. And here we will have objects uh, that will uh, come onto the computer screen and they start out really blurry. And then slowly in um, 41 frames, uh, the object becomes more and more clear. Now some of these objects are crime objects like guns and knives and some are not. And we are interested in how the sheer exposure to a black face can facilitate people's ability to recognize these crime objects. And we find that that is the case. If you've been exposed to black male faces before being asked to recognize a blurry image of a gun, um, you'll be able to recognize that image faster with fewer frames, with less clarity than if you've been exposed to a white face beforehand. Implicit bias or this unconscious bias is something that we're all vulnerable to and so it's not something that's just reserved for people who are bigoted or people, you know, with um, burning crosses or white robes on. I mean, um, you don't have to be a bad person to actually have this sort of unconscious or implicit bias. Thank you.